hey what's up guys this is Vikas once again back with another tutorial and in this tutorial I will show you how to create a chemistry lab flash like this in this video I have not only created this graphics but I have already added some animation and effect to make it more engaging and attractive guys so let me show you how the animation will work so as I click on the arrow button so here I have added a chemistry lab test text and uh, the chemistry uh, chemical in the flask so as you can see here the chemical in the flask is available and floating like it's filling uh, filled with the some chemicals and the bubbles are uh, emitting out of uh, the uh, flask so this is how the animation will work and let me show you i have created three such slides with the different color so that you can download it and use it in your projects so this slide will work like this and the slide is almost same but the color is different the color combination is different in uh, all these three slides okay so before start creating guys i just want to request you if you are new on this channel and watching this video for the first time and haven't subscribed the channel yet then please subscribe this channel and press the bell icon so that you will get notified whenever we upload a new video on this channel so without wasting any time let's get started guys so just click on the insert option just click on new slide option and click on blank the blank slide is added now what we have to do we just have to click on the shape option you have to choose an oval shape option over here press ctrl and shift and drag this outward to make a, a regular circle like this okay for now i'm going to uh, and now again click on the insert option here you have to choose the rectangle option drag a rectangle like this and put this rectangle over here okay now again click on insert option choose shape click on the shape option and choose a rounded rectangle over here just drag this rectangle over here and drag yellow dot to the right to make the edges more rounded like this make it a little bit smaller by dragging it like this and drag it over here on the previous shape like this okay so this is the basic shape i have created now it's time to select all these shapes and remove the shape outline so make it no outline and again click on the merge shape option and make it union now this is the single element i have created by pressing union on the keyboard okay so now it's time to add a rectangle so click on the insert option just click on the shape option over here just click on rectangle option and drag the rectangle to cover the whole slide like this okay now right click over here send it to back okay let me change the color of this shape fill of this rectangle so that we can see the previous shape of uh, flask so now it's time to choose the first one and uh, press ctrl and choose this shape means flask shape and click on the merge shape option and say subtract now we rest with this particular shape like this okay so now i'm going to click on the shape outline option just click on the weight and make the outline something more wider like this okay so this is the shape ready now it's time to choose the shape fill so i'm going to choose this one over here and shape outline choose the shape outline color to white okay so now you can see the outlines can be visible on the slide so press ctrl and shift and drag it outward to hide these outlines from the slide like this so now click on the right click over here format background okay and for now i am going to change the background color to this okay later on we will change the background color to black so that it will look like a, a same color on this slide so now click on the insert option click on the shape option here you will find a here you will find a double wave option just click on that and drag this wave like this okay now press ctrl 
for now i'm going to make it no outline press ctrl d to duplicate it and drag it over here like this okay now select all these two shapes and press uh, click on the merge shape option make it union like this again press ctrl d to duplicate it one more time and put it over here like this so for now i'm going to make it wider like this so that it will cover it can cover the whole flask like this i'm going to delete it and now i'm going to ctrl d duplicate it okay got it for now i'm going to change the shape feel of this to something as you can do it uh, as per your choice so for now i'm going to choose uh, this color over here pink color okay and for this shape i'm going to choose the same color but uh, uh, i will choose uh, some lighter color over here like this okay you can see here okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to make it i'm going to bring this shape in front and this in back okay you can see now it will when it drag animate like this then it will create a illusion that the liquid is uh, start filling in this flask so now what we have to do we have to click on the black shape over here right click over here and make it bring it to the front like this okay done now adjust these two shapes over here okay now it's time to add I'm going to bring it to back and now it's time to add animation in these two shapes so click on the animation tab I'm going to remove the format set tab over here just click on animation pan a new pan will open which show the animations over here so click on add animation here you will find more path just click on that and here drag it down here you will find the lift option just click on that okay so click on that and again click on this shape so before creating this shape i have to check either it will working or not so i'm going to bring it to the front and click on the presentation mode and right click over here yeah it's working so bring it to back so i'm going to increase the duration i'm going to double click in that and remove these two handles like smooth start and smooth end let's click on the timing and click repeat and choose until the end of the slide okay and now you have to increase the duration like four or five seconds so now it will look like this slightly i'm going to reduce the duration like i'm going to change it to four okay so now click on this pink shape which is uh, the front of the lighter one and click on the add animation tab here you will find the more option path more motion path just click on that and now you have to choose the right option over here okay do the same with this slide just double click on that remove the smooth start and smooth end just click on the timing and here you have to choose repeat until the end of the slide okay now i'm going to increase the duration like i'm going to do it 4.25 okay but you have to adjust the shape over here like this okay now click on the presentation mode and you have to do one more thing animate this second one with previous one so just click on the start and change on click to with previous okay now it's done now click on these two slide click on the click here and you can see the animation is working correctly so end the slide and i'm going to choose the previous one i'm going to put it over here like this 
okay so for text i'm going to copy these two text over here Just control c and paste it over here like this bring these two and the starting and click on the second one choose the animation tab and make it with previous okay so now it's time to add these dots over here so you can add the dot like this just click on the insert option just click on the shape option and choose the oval option over here like this press ctrl and shift and drag this over here i'm going to zoom it so that we can see it very clearly remove the outlines and after this you have to right click over this drop and uh, for now i'm going to close this animation pan and uh, you have to choose the gradient fill option over here so i'm going to delete all these gradient handles and keep two gradient handles for the left handle i'm going to use this particular color and for the right handle i'm going to use the lighter pink color as i have used in this presentation so this is the drop press ctrl d just press ctrl d to duplicate it make it smaller like this and put it over here ctrl d and put it over here ctrl d and make it little bit smaller and put it over here so this is how the drop you can create in this slide so okay so choose all these drops press ctrl g our drop is ready so what we will do we will, so what we will do we will keep kept this drop over here make a duplicate copy put over here okay so before uh, du making another duplicate copy i'm just going to uh, add animation on this drop so click on the animation animation pan i'm going to choose i'm going to close the format shape option over here and now for this i'm going to click on add animation here you will find the more motion paths over here now drag it to down you will find a uh, s curve one so you have to choose this one press ok now rotate this to the left 90 degree like this okay and put it over here like this got it so now again for this one i'm going to click on the add animation option choose more motion paths drag it to downward you will find a uh, s curve 2 so for this you have to choose s curve 2 again rotate to 90 degree like this and sorry and put this one sorry put this one over here like this okay and make the duration to 4 for this i am again going to make the duration for this dot for this dot again going to make the duration 4 now let me show you how it works okay it's working fine so i'm going to click on the second group 22 and make it uh, and uh, choose the with previous option over here again clicking on this particular animation and making with previous option over here okay just double click over here and make it uh, smooth start zero and remove the smooth end over here just click on timing and uh, repeat this animation until the end of the slide like this so again i'm going to choose the last one double click over here remove the smooth end over here remove the smooth end and smooth start over here okay 
so i'm going to remove it just click on the timing option just click on rotate rotate option and rotate it until the end of the slide okay so now i'm going to switch on the presentation mode and click this so that you can see here okay now i think uh, we have to create some more copy of this so i'm going to press ctrl d over here and put this over here and again i'm going to press ctrl d over here and put this over here so click and you can see but it's animating uh, with uh, each other so i'm going to start it like this okay so that each animation should be start alternating not with the previous one so now when you click on this you can see the drop is popping out and uh, you can see the smoke is popping out from the conical flask so this is how the animation will work so this is very easy guys you can create it and use in your project so our powerpoint world is a new youtube channel so i'm just trying to uh, create a website for it so that i can provide all the templates and uh, all the free materials over there so for now i am just uh, providing these materials over on my blog or you can contact me on my whatsapp number to get it so just wait for two or three weeks only and the website will be ready so that's all for today guys and see you in the next tutorial till now bye bye and thanks very much for watching this video